lot of young people heading south these days. Young graduates looking for opportunities to cross the state line. They're in a hurry, unsure of the future, not stopping long enough to see what they're leaving behind. With their diplomas in their hands, the young people of the state are looking for a start in industry. But they don't have to leave the state to find it. There are hundreds of companies looking for these young men and women here in Maine. The largest of these industries employs over 16,000 people requiring hundreds of different skills. This industry paid over $110 million in wages last year. There is real opportunity here in the paper industry. These men can tell you all about it. Many of them left the state too, but they returned. Now they're finding their careers in paper all across the state. There are 23 different locations in Maine where people are in the business of making pulp and paper. From Madawaska in the far north to Pajebscot in the south and westward as far as Rumford. People throughout the world depend on these men and women for nearly every paper product we know today. These are the locations of the giants of the paper industry. Names that are well known in American homes and businesses. Scott, S.D. Warren, Frazier, St. Regis, Great Northern, and International. These people have an important job to do. Making paper to keep the modern world on the move. In communications, in business, and in each and every home in the nation. This is where it all begins, at the mill. The logs that have been prepared to the right length in the woodland's operation are collected and sent up the ramp and into the first steps of being made into pulp and finally into paper. Here too is where a man is likely to start in the paper industry, at the beginning. For most of the skills required in the paper industry must be learned on the job. Like the men, these logs must meet specifications. They must be of a proper age and size. They must be cut to a proper length and they must be solid. The men must be 18 years old, high school graduates, and physically fit. In the wood room, the bark is removed from the logs by means of a tumbling operation. Entrance into the other end of these long barkers is controlled by a gate. When the log comes out, it is inspected. If there is any bark left on it, it is returned into the barkers. This is the initial preparation of the log for pulping. The men controlling these barkers belong to the general manpower pool of the mill. Most of them won't stay here too long, for an industry-wide posting has just been made announcing openings in the various apprenticeship programs. As each man applies for one of the trade apprenticeship programs, he is given a series of examinations administered by the state. Test that uh, they have you take. First, you have to qualify to be able to take the test. You have to be a high school graduate and, and so on. And the, this test in, entails quite a little. You have a whole mechanical aptitude and manual dexterity. Besides uh, the questionnaire that you, you know, it's quite a quite a lengthy questionnaire, and it, it, it's not only uh, mechanical. It's uh, well, they seem to like know if you can use the English language <laughs> along with it. Once he passes these tests. The candidate is picked for apprentice training as a piper, a machinist, millwright, an electrician, or an expert in instrumentation. Smaller operations may combine some of these areas. The larger mills do not. In 1964, I got into the paper industry. Worked here 
newspaper room for about a year and a half. Finally, get a apprenticeship program, electrician. I've been in the program now for a year and a half. There are two parts of the program. It's a, we have on the job training and we have classroom work. There's an ICS course. It runs for about two and a half years, two and a half to three years. But most of the time, the apprentice works with a, a A journeyman and just tries to pick up things from him, listen to him, try to learn what you can on the job. After the four years apprenticeship, you're eligible for journeyman. These hardwood logs have just been softened for the grinding operation in a digester. 27 cords in one load. Now the log is well on its way to being made into pulp and then paper. It is picked and inspected again, then sent down the chute towards the grinders. It's the uh, kind of work that I enjoy doing because you don't, uh, you don't get stuck with the same old job like you do on piecework and stuff like that. You never know what you're going to do if you do it from one minute to the next, uh, doing something no other than. The grinding operation breaks apart the fiber of the log and makes it into pulp. The quality of this pulp depends to a large extent on the man trained as a piper. Well, the piper here in a paper mill is it's more than just a, just a piper, it's a maintenance piper. And you're not, most of the time you're not just working with pipe, you're uh, repairing hydraulic cylinders and repairing leaks and steam heads and all different kinds of uh, it's not related to piping, but it isn't actually piped itself. Usually on the, on the, on the job training, I uh, assign you to work with uh, somebody who's uh, made the grade, so to speak, and uh, already uh, getting them piping. And, uh, you kind of follow along and follow their lead. They'll uh, tell you what they want, and uh, if you don't know, already know how to to do what they want you to do, uh, they'll uh, do a, a fraction of it and so that you know what they're talking about and, and then it's up to you. These positions are available right here in Maine. You don't have to leave the state for them. Or as far as I go, I see if I can make a little more time. I went to work for a company in Connecticut, lasted just about three months. I figured I had all I wanted, I was going to make it in the state of Maine, I wasn't going to make it at all. At the time, I was leaving there were several other young men that were doing the same thing. I'm going to say on a percentage basis, out of ten people that went outside to work for a living, inside of two years' time, eight of them were back here. And the other two, I don't think they were really better off. They were staying there. Myself, I like to go pick it, and I like to hunt it. I want to go, I want to go. I don't want to have to drive in six months. I get out of the country so I can buy goose on that stuff. The industry has good quality control, too, as can be seen by the purity of this steam, one of the tests of efficiency of the operation. The operation must be orderly. The apprenticeship training programs virtually assure this. We have seen the first part of the industry, the pulping of the raw wood. The men who conduct this part of the process must have a variety of skills. They all will be moving up, and others will take their place. Another of the trade apprentice programs is that of the machinist. 
year and a half ago, I signed up for the apprentice program since I learned how to machine it, so apprentice. I'm in the shop. No number two, they know. Yes, for the course, which is sent to us from ICS in the company and studied the book that do the week ahead. Do it, send it in. This goes on once every two weeks. Uh, the uh, on the job training, I guess it, they have the friends to me, but they're training them down there. You get the jam or something, you ask them how to sit there. If they're not tied right up, the time, they're not moving sure you what to do. Almost 100%. And I'll cut the rest off. And down this feeling, you know, if you get your cup and I'll jam, you can get out, get dropping the guy on the side of you, and you have to lift something or move something and ask him to fight. So I felt like the boys were on the west side of the state, right? And they're right. Most of the machinery, I can run. I'm not as good as a journey board, but I hope someday I'll be able to. And anything that they think that I can handle, uh, Things that I can do all right to, to work on, on the machine and like that. The job is falling to love and assigned you the job and I do it. The best way I can. If it's right, then it's right. And if it's wrong, I hear about it. Next time I try to do it right. Uh, took me five years in the grind room and we're doing the paper and we get that. And I'm not sorry now that I took that five years to do it. I think I do it again. That of the Millwright Apprentice. This program runs for a period of four years and includes training in mathematics, English, pumps, burning and welding, and drafting. A man in this program sees a bright future. Two girls, and I have my own car, and it's all made possible to work in the college. The machinist and the millwright have a job in common, a very important job. The main objective of any maintenance man in the paper industry is to keep those machines running. And anything else he can do to make them a little better, to make them run a little better, and he gets a chance, that's where the job is, to make them run smooth and keep them in production. When you have a breakdown, you got to move. That's amazing to keep the machine going. There are many skills that one can learn, and many different opportunities right here in the state of Maine. The trade apprentice programs are only part of the story. One of the largest paper operations is the Great Northern Paper Company with plants in Millinocket and East Millinocket. Here, a new and unique training apprentice program is now underway. Traditionally, paper making skills and techniques have been passed down from the older members of the paper machine crew to the younger workers. In most paper mills in the state, this is still the only method available for training the paper maker of today. In order to keep all personnel operating the paper machines abreast of the latest technical advances, Great Northern has started an indentured papermaker apprentice program. This program now has a total of 21 graduates. Now in its fifth year, it enrolls as many as 35 apprentices a year. As in the trade apprenticeships, the papermaker apprentice program is open to all persons who qualify. Notice of openings for the program are posted throughout the mill. First bit, when they start out the program, uh, we had to attend the class for an hour each week. And this was done within the mill. And we had instructors from different parts of the mill saying what the program was going to be and how it would be carried out. Mm -hmm. So 
role of the paper maker involves the entire operation of these large paper machines. From where the control pulp enters the machine to the dry end where it is rolled as paper, the paper maker is responsible for quality and efficiency. When a machine is started up, the pulp must be fed down the various parts of the machine to this stacker where it is literally iron dry. And even when the threading is lost, there is no waste, for the torn paper is recycled back through the pulping process. Yet. 
As in any industry, after training, advancement is dependent on seniority when training is equal. And in order to get that seniority, you must stay in the state and in the industry. My natural resources around here more or less control my interest rather than go another state. I like to hunt, fish.
the man in industry broadens his chances for advancement and for eventual executive responsibility. The University of Maine also offers a special two-year technical program in pulp and paper technology, as well as the four-year program in engineering, chemistry, and other fields. A person with part of this education behind him can choose work in the engineering fields of the paper industry in research and quality control, and even in sales and personnel management. And upon graduation from college, he can continue in the area of work that he has found most satisfactory. Well, a man should plan his, his life's work. He could uh, look for different things that, uh, that are uh, of interest to him in particular, and, uh, he's got to figure, well, uh, all, all I've got is myself to sell, well, I can only get the, the most money for it. And not only that, a man don't want to work for money alone, he wants to work something that, work for something he enjoys doing. And he's got to find an area that, uh, that he cares to live in, his career development goals, uh, still many of these things here today, that's all there is for it. Why not uh, make your job here? It's reading the paper every day, but uh, well, not every day, but uh, the different companies that are uh, surveying and preparing building site for new industry. And, uh, well, that's the place to go. If it's the new industry, go with you, go with the company. Anywhere you go, it's got to be out.